My name is Rhapsody, welcome back to Slay This by Modded. We're going to be playing The Glutton yet again, looking for some of that diversity in different build compositions we can go with. Uh, another try? Yes, no, I think so. Uh, lose all gold for two random colorless cards, remove a card from the deck, or 12 HP. Probably the two random colorless. Uncanny Aura, as well as Purify Uncanny Aura. At the end of your turn, gain one strength and decks for each other unplayable card in your hand. So it's not this and, it's each other. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to try and do stuff with that. Also, Purity will allow me to burn them afterwards if I should like. Uh, which I might not, but if I should, then I would and could. On a boat and with a moat. I don't know. It's, it's very Sissian. A little bit. All right. Stuff here. Also bumped it up to Ascension 1 because, oh, why wouldn't I? Let's burn both of those. Hmm. Should be lethal time this turn. And tears. Right. Dyspepsia, unplayable. When drawn, lose one HP and gain one card. Uh, gain one energy. Yeah, that's an unplayable card. <gasps> Wait, hang on. Is Uncanny Aura actually from... No, it's from Replay the Spire. Huh. Well, I'll be. So it just happens to work very well for this character. Interesting. Um, I'm going to defend Flail. And then I'm going to burn the other three. And this is so I'm more likely to draw my unplayable card with the Uncanny Aura. Or not, apparently. That's fine too, I guess. Lose three maximum HP. Deal 15 damage to all enemies. Upgrades to 18. Uh-uh. Mug. This early in the game. Uh, deal 10 damage. Gain 15 gold. Upgrades to 12 and 20. Sure. I'm just going to continue going until we get this. Uh, 10 armor. Oh, sorry, 10 armor. 10 block on the first turn each combat thanks to that anchor the mimic does actually put cards into our draw pile as well this is gonna be lovely not cards sorry unplayable cards not just cards in general damn it i just want the uncanny aura to activate so that i understand that it has some value please Well, at least I'm going to get it with Dyspepsia. It's apparently playable? Unplayable. But it's playable. And it has the effect. What? I didn't want to get Dyspepsia there, actually. I'm probably going to lose this first run through my attempt to get this whole thing to work. Uh, but, eh, that's okay with me. Yep, no, I forgot that I had one less energy that turn. Got him. Potion belt as well as fever scab yearn. I mean, hunger pangs are unplayable status cards that damage you and draw you new cards. That seems like it totally works for this deck. I could have taken a regret there, but the problem is if I have a regret in the deck, it's going to thicken up the deck. Uh, which is probably going to introduce a lot more problems with that. Uh, with our HP total. Okay. It's got to be Misery here. It seems the only one that's useful. Uh, whenever you lose HP, deal two damage to all enemies. Sure. Here we 
go. Actually gonna use scab here. Unfortunately, Uncanny Aura does not appear to want to help us here. All right, and now the enemy is dead. And we're damn close ourselves to Regal Pillow whenever you rest here on additional 15 HP. That's really good for us. Avarice's base cost four. We now know that. That's lovely. Well, no, it's not base cost four. It might actually be base cost six. Hmm. Um, given enemy thorns deal damage six times? No. At the end of your turn, you have a debuff. Draw one card? No. Oh, sorry, at the start of your turn. I'm gonna go for Avarice and try and work up to being able to use it. Fast Feast, Treat, Unceasing Top, Whetstone. Okay. So whenever drawn, lose two HP and draw another card. Okay, and it stays in the deck. So it's totally functional with the... The kind of archetype we're aiming for. We just need to live while we set this up. Where's my next rest? Uh, after another elite, we're definitely dead. Oh, well. Oh, speaking of definitely dead, we might be definitely dead uh, here. If I don't throw that languid potion, I die at the start of the next turn. Hey, got him. So what, we die as soon as we go into the next combat? Huh? No. Eternal hunger can't kill you. That's news to me. I am going to need to burn dyspepsia. Lest it kill me. Definitely just drop the Avarice there. Whew. Scab double defend, right? Another avarice for you. And we should be dead very soon here. I can't believe how rarely we're getting uncarry uh, uncanny aura with the kinds of cards we would need. At least I'm trying. All right. Blood Vial at the start of each combat. Uh, heal 2 HP. All right. Uh, gain 8 block and heal 8 HP. You know what? I might take that. Maybe we somehow live. Maybe. But God, I doubt it. Okay, so we can double strike here. We've got five on the front liner in the next turn, so that's extremely easy to meet. Delirium? As much as I'm not going to want the confusion. Oh, no, we're dead. Yeah, no, I figured that one was going to have to happen. That's okay, though. That's more than okay. Because we understand more about one of the cards in the game now. All right, Glutton. I will take 100 gold here, almost certainly. Especially because we can just go to an early shop and then we've even got a rest before we go to our first elite. So we have the opportunity to upgrade a car. Which 
Check. So I guess in the shop, then, we are looking for probably the most aggressive card that we can pick up. And then we'll follow up by upgrading it. Seems good to me. Tantrum. If this card is exhausted, deal 16 damage to the enemy with the least HP. I mean, we've found recently that it is more than easy to exhaust cards. And Tantrum isn't even that bad against Elite when upgraded. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll upgrade a strike rather than remove one there. 175 more gold, but I put a regret in my deck. I can then remove the regret in the next space for only 75 gold, but instead of removing another card is the reason that it's a little bit of a concern. And also, it would increase the cost of every other card removal from this point on. I I stopped taking those in the broadest variety, in the broadest circumstances, rather. Uh, but now there's that uncanny aura again. I really want to get that build working. All right, I'm going to take uncanny aura as well as lash out. And then Blood Vile at the start of each combat, heal 2 HP. Because that Blood Vile will pretty much always take effect. And the Lash Out is so that I have a little bit of AoE in this deck, but also so that I have... Hang on, so 10, 10, can't kill. Um, but also so that I eventually have a card that I can use to start exhausting the statuses that will start chunking up our deck, courtesy of our utilization of the Uncanny Aura. As well as a way to trigger the Tantrum. Profligacy. Pay 10, deal 20, gain 8. Upgrades to 28 and 11. No, I like money, though. Let's take a guard stance. Gotta upgrade the Lash Out. Not only for the extra damage, just in case this ends up being the Sentinels, but also so that I can target my card. Oh, well, this is... Simple as hell. Got to be Lash Out to remove the Uncanny Aura there. That'll help me start thinning down my deck at least. Taking a hell of a lot of damage here though. It's not guaranteed that I can deal 21 damage in the next turn, so I've decided to go and attack there again as well. Never mind. It was easy apparently. Pair on pickup, raise your max HP by 10. That's really good. Deal twice. Deal damage equal to twice the number of times you have lost HP to combat, uh, this combat. Upgrades to thrice. The Lagavulin Relic is a satchel. At the end of a turn, retain one card. That's actually really good because now I can retain the Uncanny Aura. I wonder if I retain it, will it actually play its effect? I don't know about that. I would be interested to see. Damn. That's a really good opening turn right there. Uh, masochism whenever you lose HP. No, 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 I don't want any of this. Ugh. It feels like every chest is a mimic. That's too much. That's too much mimics. Keep the strike in this scenario. Yep, because I couldn't guarantee that the enemy was even going to be attacking that next turn. 
I'm going to elect to hold on to the slimed. Yay! Uncanny aura. I get my... Oh, slimed is playable because of course it is. The uncanny aura was never going to work there. Oh, well. Better found out sooner rather than later. Dream catch when he rests, add a card to your deck. Deal 12 damage. Shuffle a hunger pang into your draw pile. More than happy to take that. Cool. We have some AoE in this deck. Speaking of, there it is. I can just straight up kill the frontliner here. I think that's a really good idea. Yes, I'll be taking 9 damage this turn, but then that frontliner never gets the opportunity to heal. Hold on to the flail. Uncanny Aura is going to be real nice here. You can't retain ethereal cards. They just burn anyway. Okay, so... I'm going to try and figure out how the Uncanny Aura works. If I choose not to play it here, it does play itself at the end of the turn, but because it plays itself at the end of the turn, it leaves my hand, so I cannot retain it. So I should have just played it at the very start there. That's something I'm now learning. Anchor, start his combo with 10 block. All right. All right. I like it. Uh, exhaust a random card. Pain I, I kind of want to take another lash out. It'll actually help me thin down my deck as well so that I get the uncanny aura more often with the other cards. But also demolish would be really good with the extra strength because it hits multiple times. I'm going to take the lash out first. I could have taken a Parasite there, but the problem is my first shuffle through of my deck has a Parasite in it and does not have unplay, uh, Uncanny Aura because that's in my discard pile at the start. So I feel that's probably not the most clever idea that I could have. So let's start Strike. Odd Mushroom, when vulnerable, take 25% more attack damage rather than 50%. That makes things that make us vulnerable more powerful. I can take Scab or Dyspepsia here. We're going to be including more unplayable cards in our deck, which means that the average expenditure we would... Uh, average energy expenditure per turn is going to go down, which means Dyspepsia is going to be less useful in the long run. A Hunger Pang... I'm going to upgrade Uncanny Aura because it's become... It, it will become very relevant in boss fights, I believe. Ooh, Curse of Injury, though. Over losing 10 max HP. Yeah, I think that's I think that's probably not a bad idea either. Um, I probably want to dig. Pen nib every 10th attack you play deals double damage. Not bad. And here I'll upgrade the scab because the ongoing healing seems real good. All right, let's see if we can get to the end of the story this time. Cool. We removed exactly the two cards I was looking to. Uh, so I've been swallowed by the woods, and I will decide to... You know what? Press forth. Encounter something unrelenting, because I've never... Wow. Really? To gremlin? Yikes. Because I had not taken that option before. But I guess the other options were Sentinels and Lagavulin, so it did have to be gremlin, right? Just to pad out the triple... I'll take the random effect. No, I don't want the slimes. Yeah, I'm going to pass on. I don't want the, the effect of that. So the enemy does enrage here. Hit the wrong enemy with that, unfortunately. Ooh. 
anger the mushrooms or add a spreading infection. Spreading infection, at the end of your turn, duplicate all other status and curse cards in your hand. Yeah, I kind of want to do that. More unplayable cards for me. Ah, I burnt the wrong card. Damn it. We're probably going to die over the course of this fight right now. Uh, add a burn plus? A random relic effect or heal by 10 HP or exhaust any one non-cursed card. Let's take the random effects. You've got the effect of Aura Calcum at the end of your turn. If you have no block, gain six block. That's pretty good for us, actually. Get that burn plus out of the deck. Even though I like it, eh, it's somewhat. Uh, three days to the draw pop. Oh, that crashed the game. Damn it. Okay, so I can't put dazed in my draw pile when I'm given that option. Got it. In fact, while I am launching the game back up, I am going to quickly... Save to notepad the debug messages so that I can send them to Pickle later. There we go. Got your back, Pickle. All right. So I will probably just replay that boss fight trying to do similar things to what I did last time, but not, I guess, being able to guarantee it because I don't remember all of my turns. And some of them were affected by RNG. Okay. Still kept my flail this time. Nice. Adventurer in the woods. I'll go for the unrelenting, because that's what I did last time. I'll throw in that, because that's what I did last time. Keep the injury. I don't know how much of this is seeded. So I don't know how well I will be able to recreate the exact same effects. Tantrum is either seeded or just worked out in our way. Okay. Ow. Uh, let's go for the spreading infection. There's the uncanny aura that I get to play. Then it was Veracity, and then I did Lash Out, and it burned the Injury. Didn't burn the Injury this time. Okay. I'm making the Fable Spin a languid here by attacking them, by the way. So we'll take the Burn Plus, and we got the effect of Oracalcum. Nice. That seems to be seated there. Okay, Fable Spinner. Excuse me. Quite ill right now. Um, I guess I'll keep the injury so that I can redraw the hunger pang and get the extra draw from it. I cannot put the dazed into my draw pile. I was about to insta select that as well. Damn. I guess I'll go frail. Uncanny aura. A little scab. Just throw out a tantrum, I guess. Fight slimes, beasts, or gremlins. What's left in my draw pile? Lash out is left in my draw pile. I'm gonna go for the gremlins. I think with my strength. Oh, they're all 40. I thought they were like 20 or something. Ah, I think I made the same mistake last time as well. All right. I'm gonna lash out and it does burn tantrum. I was not gonna be relying on that, but I was definitely hoping that would be the case. Exhaust all strikes, obtain five bites, lose one HP, or take five damage. So retained cards appear over the top of this, which is 
making it difficult to read all of the text, but I guess I get it in general. Uh, I'll exhaust my strikes and obtain the bites. Thank you. Uh-huh. Yep. It's time for the uncanny. Wow. I'm going to have uncanny in the worst hand for it. Uh... Look, I'm hexed out of those. I can't believe that I have uncanny in this hand. So I'm going to try and hold uncanny, I guess, at this point. Oh, but I can't. Right, it just auto plays at the end of the turn. Rule. I'll retain Lash out here, actually, just so that I can deal with anything summoned, and it happens to be gremlins. Great. Okay. The injury for the later. Oh, Hunger Pangs at this point should basically just draw us through the deck. Take four damage or something, something, obtain one wound. Take eight damage and obtain one wound. But what's the benefit of it? With Grace and a little more panic, you manage to jump the chasm unharmed. Oh, so that was probably a 50-50 chance. Okay, there's our full hand. Unfortunately. And there goes the Fable Spinner. Bye! You're a kind adventurer and a very good listener. Come by any time, dearie. I have plenty more stories to tell. Uh, deal damage equal to the number of cards in your deck. Shuffle two hunger pangs into your discard pile. I do want hunger pangs in this deck, so that's excrescence. Excrescence? Excrescence. Yeah, excrescence. Shuffle. Sure. Uh, I do want extra energy. I think I think I have to take the Velvet Choker. I don't play more than that cards, uh, that many cards in the turn, rather. So Velvet Choker, gain an energy at the start of each turn. You cannot play more than six cards a turn. That's fine. We don't really do that. Let's start down here. I'd really like to go to the shop. Defeating Captain Abe. So that means Captain Abe's on this floor. Uh, I'm probably going to go defend, defend Tantrum. Seems the right thing for us. It's definitely Lash Out. Lash Out. Probably God stuff. No, it's not God stuff. Punch, flail, then lash out. Guard stance would have defect, uh, deflend, deflended, deflended or defected. Uh, either of those words. Hmm. Okay, Neko of a non ethereal card in your hands. Delusion. Great, two echoes. Uncanny aura being echoed would be ridiculous. That's what I'm thinking of. That's a two card combo, but I can always retain the delusion. Taking it. Apparition. Receive five apparition, lose 50% of our maximum HP. Our maximum HP is really important. I don't know if I can concede to that. Uh, upon pickup, choose two cards. Whenever you draw one of these, draw the other. Mm, I don't know about that either. The problem is if I take Delusion and Uncanny Aura, then when I draw Delusion in my first shuffle, I will draw Uncanny Aura. 
and I probably won't have any unplayable cards in my deck by then. I guess it's possible. I'm going to join them. I'm going to see if I can get this to go off a lot earlier because I do want to thicken up this deck. Uh, in addition to that, probably going to remove a card. Just a normal strike. Okay, I drew the delusion. So this is weird. Uh, Grave says, start each combat with this card in your discard pile. Delusion says, when you draw one of these cards, draw the other. Uh, Delusion, sorry. The Mysterious Pyramid says, when you draw one of these cards, draw the other. I would have expected it would go to my discard pile... But then when I draw Delusion, it would go from my discard pile to my hand and be drawn. I suspect that's how it works with other cards. So I suspect there's probably an interaction with Grave here that's happening, weirdly. Or maybe I'm just horribly wrong. That's happened a myriad times before. I'm going to go with Expressing twice there. Okay. Um, so I'll hold on to the strike. Very much looking for lethal this turn. And knowing that we got it, I decided to heal there. I'll take scab. I'm. I think the deck is just gonna be me trying to get hunger pangs into the deck and then benefit from them. Uh, at the end of your turn, gain one frail. It's an unplayable card. I'm gonna take that. Flyswatter, future card ward screens, you will no longer be offered cards you previously skipped. So frailty doesn't really affect us. We don't really defend in general. Which is why I'm fine putting it in the deck. Okay, so now if we draw delusion, we do, and it doesn't do anything there. Damn. Ah, well. I guess maybe Mysterious Pyramids always assumes that a card can't be in the discard pile? Maybe? I don't know. I'm not certain. And frankly, it's a little irresponsible to... Yes. I'm going to retain the delusion. Ah, right. If I want to retain the delusion, I... that lash out is a little difficult to play. Because you could burn the card I need. Give me the card I require. I've been so patient. I will make this uncanny deck work. You are kidding me. It is literally at the bottom of the deck. It keeps doing this. All right. At the very least, it's in there with good company. Okay. Uncanny Aura. Uncanny Aura. Scab. Giant Defend. <gasps> it begins. I'm telling you, this will pay off. And already has, we win. No, we don't. Never mind, I counted wrong. I forgot the fact that the reason I was going to be so fine there is because I already had my pendip activated. 
Tell you what, this is a unique type of deck. I have definitely not run this before. Mobius coin. Gain an additional 50 gold every single time you complete a quest, as well as probably chomp. I need some way to heal back up in this deck. After, you know, <laughs> everything becomes unplayable. Yeah, I don't have the ability to just delay for a long time in this deck, unfortunately. I uh, guess I'll retain the scab. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm not going to have a long time to stall in this deck, by the way. Exactly what just happened. All of our cards are going to get shuffled. That is to say, their energy costs will be randomized. And it's going to make life a real bit difficult for us. Okay. Actually, I ought to be able to just chomp this turn, right? Uncanny chomp. Okay, one block for every 15 gold you have. No, thank you. Nine Danka. Two curses. Two curses gets me a black card and another black card. Infinite Blow hasn't maintained its upgrades. What's up? What's up, Infinite Blow? Uh, final strike. I only have five strikes in the deck. I'm not able to pick up anymore. I'm going to take the Infinite Blow and try and upgrade it. Uh, replay every card you've played this combat. Innate, and then goes to Grave. Um, I mean, that would be ridiculous for us. If we get to play it, that is. Duvu Doll, for each cursing medic, start with an additional strength. Sure, we have four. <laughs> Thanks. Uh... Oh, my infinite blow hasn't retained its previous upgrades. I upgraded it like 50 times. I was taking it as kind of like an ace in the hole in this situation. In case it looks like this run's definitely going to start dying. Start dying? Definitely going to die. Uh, that's when I would go, okay, well now it's time to start using the, the ace in the hole. Strike off the scab, scab, strike the front line as well. You must give me the damage I crave. Uh, I do have a debuff. I'll take that feeble kick, thanks. Uh, upgraded delusion on tantrum. And then I will defend, play the natural tantrum, and then the other two play themselves here at the end of the turn. Popped him. Hell yeah. Chomp at the end of the fight. Nice. Or a Calcum if you end a turn without blocking six block as well as Devar. Uh, I'm going to try and make my way away from the exhaust synergy in this deck. We've got Rewind and Rive that both chunk up our opening hand without really adding anything to it. Uh, so what we're going to want to do is upgrade that Rewind so it's in the discard pile at the start of battle. Not the card I wanted to exhaust there, but okay. I just needed the straight up damage to kill the enemy there. Lot lose one HP, gain one maximum HP. Can only be played if you lost ten or more uh, life ten or more times this combat. Deal thirty damage. Whenever you draw a card, deal one damage to a random enemy. Upgrades to two damage from a random enemy. Migram is probably going to be ridiculous for us. We draw a lot of cards when those hunger pangs go off. But the thing is, when those hunger pangs go off, we've already won that fight. Uh, I definitely can't use Metronome. 
playing any non-attack card or losing HP resets the bonus to zero. Yeah, so we'll reset the bonus to zero instantly, constantly. So Shuriken, every time we play three attacks in a single turn, gain one strength. Eh, that actually doesn't seem that great for me. I want Guidebook. Upon pickup, upgrade two cards, prioritizes rarer cards, which I expect will upgrade Rewind and Infinite Blow, but it might do extra sense. Extra sense in Vesara uh, versus the <clears throat> another card, Veracity. So I'm going to be looking for another energy relic after this boss so that I have five by base, which is going to give me the ability to finally play that rewind. Woof. Tell you what, it'll be the only good rewind this month. <clears throat> Did he? Did he say that? You don't know what I was possibly referring to. I was ambiguous. Takes long drink. All right. I want to get all those hunger pangs going off as quickly as possible, so use the delusion there. Mm. <sighs> That's how it got to be. That's how it got to be. Tantrum needs to be removed from this deck. Like, yes, it does stuff, but does that justify its position? I don't feel so. Especially because I have, like, one way to activate it. Here we go. Got the Nightmare, don't want Endless. Bottled Soul, upon pickup, choose an exhaust card. When do you play that card, it no longer exhausts. I could do that on Rewind. Um, oh my gosh, Dilute. Because I put Delusion in the Mysterious Pyramids, it can't get affected by another quote unquote bottle effect. Damn it. I wasn't even thinking that it was in the Mysterious Pyramids because it's not doing that. Chomp. Yearn, draw a card if it's not a status or curse. Create an echo of it. We have mostly statuses and curses, so no. Um, deal 10 damage if you've lost at least 3 HP this turn. Gain 10 block. No, I don't need those. I'm going to get that rewind out of my opening hand, please. Please and thanks. All right. All right, Captain Aid. <clears throat> Come at me. Okay. Chomp, and then I'll lash out to remove a defense, which will kill the top. And in killing the enemy at the top here. Yeah, I don't want to look on this. Uh, resets the attack of the bottom as well. Ooh, I actually managed to burn the card I was hoping to burn there. Nice. So we're definitely going to be taking a lot of damage in this fight, but eh, you know. That happens, I guess. I'm going to uh, keep the delusion in hand, by the way, so. I guess I should remind myself that I should retain other cards earlier because I intend to retain the delusion when I get it. That makes sense. That makes sense. All right. Captain Abe set sails once more. Uh, okay, I have two unplayable cards, but that's okay. Uncanny Aura. Uncanny Aura. Uncanny Aura. Sounds like the name of a Harry Potter spell a little bit. So the only turn that has even gotten close to the Velvet Choker so far and still didn't trigger it was the Uncanny Auras. So I think we're fine. That is to say, I think we're fine having taken that.
having a uh, having an having a chomp in the deck that just does not exhaust is a real good time let me tell you Migraine is interesting. When drawn, lose one HP and draw two cards. That would be really good with this deck as well, but I haven't seen it directly on offer. <gasps> what? Tantrum bypasses uh, intangibility. That's cool. I have to imagine it's not the way that's intended to occur, but it's cool. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Right. But of course, enemies intangible this turn. Gonna kill him this turn. Get my... 540, 490 plus the 50 that I got from Mobius coin. Get a couple of new quests here as well. Flawless the boss. This is a bonfire room. Reminisce. Deal four damage for each card in your uh, exhaust pile. Upgrade. Five. Uh, treasure. Gain 35 gold for each 100 gold you have. Add a random rare card to your hand. They cost zero this turn. Oh! That's so good. Yeah, I I have to. It's going to be really interesting. Uh, so Hollow Soul looks like it's been buffed, actually. Immediately restart the fight with 20% of your max HP. Regain your original max HP. Heal to 50% of your max HP and recharge this relic if you win the fight. I think it used to be 10. Uh, Ring of Chaos. Some card rewards have randomly altered stats and effects. And Sweet Flower. Gain energy at the start of each turn. Less map information. We'll be taking that. Because I need the five energy so that I have the ability to play Rewind. Oh, it might not look like it is worth it now, and it probably won't later. Full stop. <laughs> but it might appear more worth later. <laughs> Deal 11 damage, gain maximum HP for each unblocked damage dealt. What? Fast, draw three cards, shovel two hanger points into... Oh. <laughs> Just straight up max HP. I love it. Uh, pay 50 gold, gain two intangible. I could do that, but I'm not going to. I want to get all of my money and keep it and just have it. And then that's all my money. Uh, slimy hat, increase your maximum hand size by two is going to be very good for us. I will take that and now leave. Use a strike happily. So the maximum hand size is so that the hunger pangs don't overdraw me constantly. Hey, kill the frontliner. Nice. I'm gonna lash out burn a defense, use a veracity and a strike. Then I was gonna use two scabs. But I just realized have our HP, it's fine. We might actually just go for the kills. I know how boring and traditional. Alright. Another chomp, another tantrum. No, I don't want any of those. The deck already has it going on. It's got it going on. Deck, you got it going on. You got it going on. Uh, <laughs> delusion on a treasure. Oh, I have to, right? There's no two ways around that one. That's going to be really interesting. Uh, okay, so I want to empty cards out of my hand first. So it's scab, defend. Then I use my first treasure. Play vitality. Whenever you heal energy, uh, heal HP, gain energy. Play it again. No! Velvet Joker! 
<laughs> oh, I knew it had to be too good to be true. Of course, I'd screwed it up somehow. All right, so we can't play multiple treasures in the same hand. It's good to know that now. Uh, that speed potion will never do anything for me. I'll take that energy potion instead. I'm not weakened or vulnerable or anything like that. I don't have debuffs. Starvation mode is really good against starving. Whenever you draw a status or curse, apply four poison to all enemies. That is very good for us. I can also use Enfeeblement, then Hemophilia to draw a card. No? Bleed doesn't count as a debuff? Enfeeblement, whenever you gain a debuff, deal four. Oh, no, it did. Never mind. It did do, uh, deal damage to the enemy. It's just I forgot that that was what it did. That's entirely on me. I don't want any of those. They don't do anything for me. Guess I'll keep Lash out. Hmm. Retain the delusion. <clears throat> excellent, excellent, excellent. Right, we have Aura Calcum, so actually that's better than having a defend. Letting the turn end. I should have just played God Stance there for the healing. I'm too busy focused on when am I going to get my unplayables. On. I mean... I don't know about those. I'm just going to play Rewind. Uh-oh. That was a bad move. <clears throat> Choose card to exhaust? Sure. Get the inversion out of the deck. Choose a card to retain. It's gonna be delusion, right? Yeah, we're just gonna be killed by the enemy pretty quickly here, I have to imagine. And we definitely deserve it, mind. Um, wow, we have one unplayable card in this hand. I can't believe that every other hand is just ridiculously unplayable. And this one turns up and nope, it's fine. Right. It's definitely got to be Veracity, Veracity, Extra Sense. Enemy dies to the bleed. Not bleed, sorry, the poison. 10 foot pole, take 50% less damage outside of combat. You cannot be surprised or caught off guard by mimics. All right, we're going to have to start dodging elites now. I didn't expect this was going to become the case, but it has. Uh, deals damage equal to the number of cards you've exhausted this combat. We don't really do that, do we? We try not to exhaust our cards, mostly. Yeah, I'm going to rest for some HP here. Call me old-fashioned, but... Gremlin Horn. We'll take the Sapphire Key, because if we don't... We might not get an opportunity to later. I'll take the final key there, so I have the ability to challenge the heart after this run. Should I admire the ability to do it? Should I admire? Should I want the ability to do so well? I think what I meant is should I desire?
Uh, okay, so these Echoes, don't they play for 16 rather than with my strength value? No, they do play for the 20. Okay, so not playing the Flail there was definitely uh, a poor decision on my part, to say the least. Is there something I would like to play here for, like, an eternal benefit? No, I'll just kill them. 64-bit Clover, way too late for me to get any benefit from this, but it is every set enemy normal combat, rather. Also, drops a Relic. Okay. Start with a lash out here. Okay, so I get to play three more cards. I think I'm probably best served by going Megram, Megram. I think exhausted on Ethereum though. Avarice. I'm going to let all of that pass by, because it's not going to be relevant. You're going to have to trust me. Great. Yes, I could have played a heal there. No, it doesn't matter at this point. When things are this not close, because we have this ridiculous build going for us right now, there's such a thing as min-maxing to a degree that is no longer necessary and becomes incredibly tedious. <laughs> I can't chaos. No. Um, top hat. If if your hand is full when drawing a card, draw an extra card next turn instead. That's actually quite relevant for us. Uh, Joker card. Every 15th card you play is played twice. I just think that's in general quite good. And then I'll remove another strike. Sure. Okay. I mean, I guess I can retain it, but it's not going to matter. Delusion on the tantrum. You know, we've done this one before. That'll get it done. Mm -hmm. If you're wondering why I took it to the, uh, the infinite blow, it's because I didn't know whether or not it was just not showing the upgrades and it was still doing it. Uh, or, you know, what was going on. Turns out it was just not showing them. Uh, turns out it was not showing them because it didn't have them. Oh, sorry, my bad. Um... I'm going to use the Gambler's Potion to throw everything except for that Veracity here. I think I do keep the Delusion until time. Which is to say, until the right time. Okay, so the next card I play is played twice. That's a bunch of hunger pangs for my deck. Thank you very much. <clears throat> I elect not to lash out here because I want to keep the delusion. We're in the new draw pile now. Most of my deck is Hunger Pangs. This is going to be very good, but hopefully very good. Uh, I'm going to go with Nostalgia. Whenever you exhaust a non-ethereal attack or skill, create an echo of it. I'll play that twice. Then I'll go with Extra Sense. This is all about making myself ridiculously powerful later. So, Delusion on Uncanny. And then 
Another delusion on Uncanny. Then I'll play Uncanny, Uncanny, Uncanny. And instead of playing the final Uncanny, I shouldn't... Uh, actually, that one's Echo anyway. Cool. Um, I'll play Rewind. I'm just going to blow the enemy up. Cool. And then the Uncanny triggers at the end as well. So... <clears throat> That's, uh... That worked out pretty well. <laughs> oh. It's a lot of damage. It's very good. It's quite nice. I like it. And there's our easy lethal. Now let's see how quickly we can get that going against the boss. I love how my first run, I randomly got Uncanny Aura, decided, okay, I'm going to try and draft Hardcore into this, and then found the build for it, died, and then redid it, and found the same card again. And now we have the right build. Uh, you know what? This is an extra upgrade that I can throw away. I'm going to throw in an Infinite Flow. If a card is created during combat, it's upgraded. That's really good for us. Specifically, I don't know if Hunger Pangs can be upgraded. I assume not because they're statuses, but some statuses can be upgraded. Burn in particular. Uh, but it'll upgrade everything from treasure and everything from hallucinations. And now I'm going to Dolly Smear my... Oh, I can do it on the Uncanny Aura. I thought I couldn't for a second there, and I was going to get really sad about it. I could do it on Rewind, but Uncanny Aura is going to be funny enough. I think. I'll take the Adrenaline Potion, and now it's time to fumble our way through this fight. Treasure is actually not going to give us any cards now, because we spent so much of our money. Forgot about that one, didn't I? <sighs> oh, well. I mean, I don't need to retain that one, but may as well. I'm actually going to use an Adrenaline Potion here, because this turn is actually kind of terrifying me. Hold on to the Tantrum definitely there, though. I can only really deal damage to one of them this turn, so I may as well. Ow. Thankfully, we do still have Chomp in the deck somewhere. Oh, there it is. Hello, Chomp. Time to keep this delusion. Oh my god. The duplicate of the Uncanny Aura from Mysterious Pyramids is also affected by Mysterious Pyramids, and as a result, they draw one another. That's not how that was supposed to go down, but now the Mysterious Pyramids are actually giving me a benefit, so I can hardly complain. <laughs> These things sort themselves out. It turns out. Okay. Bottle rain upon pick up, choose a card. That card will always retain. Unfortunately, the card that I want to put that on, I can't necessarily put it on. Uh, I guess I'll put it on rewind. any of the rest of those. Okay. Let's Strength Potion up immediately here. God Stance Veracity. I'm going to retain the Delusion. The delusion is obviously the thing that I would want to retain with the Bottled Rain, but can't use multiple bottle effects on the same thing. Salivate. Apply 3 weak. If you've also lost 3 HP this turn, gain 2 Vulnerable, or apply 2 Vulnerable. Uh, so if I use treasure here 
I get Reminis, good. Then I play... Then I play Tantrum. I've lost enough HP that now the Salivate is two debuffs on the enemy, and then I defend for attacking. The idea was that I wanted the Beat of, uh, beat of Death to trigger on me multiple times so that it could trigger the effect of Salivate. Uh, it's definitely like defend, scab, scab, just heal up as best I can here. Okay. Yep, that'll happen from time to time. We're probably dead in the next turn, unfortunately. Yeah, the enemy deck trashed us, but we didn't really have the ability to counter it. Not in any meaningful fashion, unfortunately. I'm going to save the delusion. It's possible that stuff happens next turn. But the thing is, we can't really go off. Yeah, I, I can play Rewind here, but I'm dead. Well, Rewind will get played twice. Mm-hmm. Cards to exhaust. Probably shame, I guess. I mean, we did heal a bunch of times there. It was nice. It was almost... It was almost enough as well. Ah. Just needed more HP going into that fight, frankly. That's the final unlock done. Hell yes. For the moment, my name has been Rhapsody. I really enjoyed that, despite the fact that it didn't win against the heart. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.